Hello, hello, <clears throat> hi, hi babies, hi Yuppie, hope everything is working, oh, it should take so long to set up, <laughs> hello, hi, 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 Abyss, how are you, welcome in, let me catch up, yo, cat that with the prime, cat that, thank you, thank you so much. Let's go first. Let's go for Starbit. Abyss, watch you. You just got your first Starbit. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> you getting Din Din spans? I hope she misses as wonderful as you are. I hope so. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the big ick. I'm feeling the big ick. Are you munching, gents? Hi. Hey, yo. How are you? Hi, hi, hi. How are you guys? The chat box is tight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sky Chad, you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? <laughs> Hi Jams, welcome in. How are you? How are you doing? <clears throat> How are you cat dad? How are you bis? Betsy, hope you have a good dinner. I was also just stuffing my face, that's why I was a little late. Um But I've been sleeping all day. I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. I yesterday it was like a it was like a painful uh migraine so i had like the thumping in my head and it was like really really painful and then today i woke up and i was so dizzy i could barely walk down the stairs love this <laughs> you gave your four weeks cat dad i'm so proud of you yay i hope the future holds only amazing things i know it will because you're cat dad and you're amazing so. I am so ha I'm so happy for you, Cat Dad. Hey! To the future! To the future! Yay! Okay, are you guys ready to see the new stinger? I have a new stinger, and I have a new, uh, yippee! <laughs> and I have a new chatting screen, are you ready? Mwah. Yay! Hello! Grrr, gremlin. Hi! Do you like it? Do you like it in the screen? Wow! It's so pretty! <laughs> it's so pretty! It's animated. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You forgot VIP. Oh, I did! I can do that right now. Uh... I did the, uh, I did the, uh, I gave out new founders badges. That would be in community roles. Roles. Add new. You gotta stop calling me a stinky if you want a VIP. Just a rule I came up with just now. <laughs> Pictures of skull, that's spooky. Hi, pup. Hi, welcome in. Boom. Done. Done. Hi, pup. How are you doing? <clears throat> Making rules on the spot now? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. No more stinky. No more bottom. No more gremlin. No more making fun. No bully. No bully. No more bullying me. I am sick. I am not well. Stop bullying me. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. Why must you bully me? If you can't make up the rules of a moon goddess, then what the fuck? What is the fucking point? That's what I'm saying, pup. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm gay. I'm gay. Recently recovered from a pec tear? Oh, <clears throat> like your muscle? Those are painful. I'm glad that you recovered. Oh. <laughs> I do be gay. I do be extremely gay, so it's okay. Oh, gee. I will move any hair I see in the chat. Pup, pup's ready to snipe. Pup is ready to fucking snipe. Pup being the best mod ever, even though she never asked for it. The saga continues. <laughs> I saw it continues. It went purple? Yo, that's not good. But it healed okay. Sippy sippy. Yeah, so we have cute new little kitty emotes. Um, we have the two Dogger Rompa ones. And. We have these Dogger Rompa ones. And then we have all these cute kitty ones. Some of them are. Um, I have all of them, obviously, but. Some of them are followers, some of them are tier one, and some of them are um, bit rewards. I like the, the F you one. <laughs> and I like the erm. <laughs> erm. <laughs> I think it's so cute. So those are all our new little emotes. I just, I really was craving something new. I just wanted something different before the debut. And I had just, I had gotten just different alerts and, um, I had gotten some, some like free to use stuff. And I was like, yeah, this will do for now. But then I was like, actually, I hate it. <laughs> so I bought this like bundle. So it's all like cohesive and nice. Cause I, I, I know that like, it's gonna make me crazy if it's not like all cohesive and nice, but. Um, I like the little sweat one. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. I like them. I like them. Oh, you had treatment, so it's fine. Oh, good. I'm glad. I was gonna say, did you go see the doctor? Oh, I'm glad that you. Did. Um. So yeah, hopefully everything. What What is this? Oh, it's that. Okay, my bad. See, I I hope everything works. Okay. Um. I guess we can bring these back. Whoops. That's me. You're moving yourself. I don't want to do that. I want you to do this. This here. Okay. What? <clears throat> Torn both my pack and biceps before? Worst types of injuries ever? Yeah. Yeah, those are not, uh, not pleasant. I've never done it, but I've heard horror stories. Um, of how bad they can be. I'm sorry you went through that, that's terrible. But I'm glad it's all better now, it's all better. <clears throat> and uh, we feel better hopefully. Um, we also have a new gaming screen. I don't know how often I'm gonna use it. Well, I'm gonna use it for Signalis. Um, but like Demon Souls, maybe I'll use it for Cult. Uh, but I show you, ready? Ah, and hopefully this chat box works. I set it to be go down from the top. Is it gonna work? So I was like, oh, I'm in the way. And I was like, but if I do the chat from the from the top, hello, <gasps> it works. Oh my god, I'm so smart. <laughs> I also moved all my alerts to stream elements, which what took is what took the longest. Um, because they are um, all formatted specifically. And so I couldn't do them in uh, Streamlabs, which was unfortunate. But um, yeah, they're very pretty. Um, let me test one for you so you can. Na -na -na. Oh, it's let me emulate a follow. Look how pretty these are. I've seen your dreams the night sky. You know I want Hello! <laughs> They're so beautiful. They're so so beautiful. I really, really like them. Um so there's those. Oh yeah, and it does it in the chat box too. Look at that. It's so pretty. I wonder if this is uh centered. 
the sound alerts can go down here. Lint diamond. Uh, yeah, I just like hope everything is working. I think so far so good. So far so good. Yeah. And then I also have the package also came with um, panels. So if you scroll down in the about, there's new panels there. Um, and oh, there was also some. Uh, are you able to handle my lifestyle? Absolutely not. Nope. There's also some animated decorations, but I'm not sure what they are. So let's check them out. Animated decorations. Oh, they're shooting stars? Hello? The background already has shooting stars, so I can't tell what's different. <laughs> but there's also uh, floating stars? Oh, they come from the bottom! Those are so cute! Yeah, I want those. I'm gonna go behind me though. Oh, itchy! <laughs> itchy nose. Strong man is hard work. <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah, no, I, I... I'm not saying I couldn't. Like, if I wanted to, I could completely change my whole life and do that. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. It's definitely not for me. I... <clears throat> Um, I wouldn't say I'm lazy, but I don't, I have a lot of, I have a lot of physical problems. I have chronic migraines, I have chronic back pain, and like that just affects me a lot. And like, how am I supposed to be, you know, <clears throat> if I'm, if I'm supposed to be doing shit like that, like how do, how do I, how can I even keep up? Because my body just physically can't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if I had to. <clears throat> I could try, but like, my body just wasn't made for that kind of shit, so, meh. 24 years? Damn. Would you want a break, man? <laughs> ah, I see. You're a very old school guy. Very old school. <clears throat> I respect that. Change the way that I perceive the night. There's no wrong or but yeah, this is all the new stuff. <clears throat> I think I forgot to put- yeah, I forgot to put music out last time. Part 4! Thankfully, um, Signalis is kind of top down. So I don't think it'll affect me, uh, being too dizzy. Oh, we'll see, but... <clears throat> Your wife and children should also do strong man. <laughs> they do? Strong children? Let's go! So they protect you! You all protect each other! Oh, that's nice. It's nice to have, like, a family thing like that. I don't- I don't have a very strong sense of family just- just because of how my life has gone. <clears throat> I'm- I'm kind of a loner by choice, but <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. I'm gonna try and play Signals and see how it goes. If it's like too dizzying for me, um, your family could beat each other up. <laughs> Safely, some family is friendly family competitions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Oh shit! Uh, Discord is open. How's that shit? I like this. Uh, I like these backgrounds, but I d I like the my custom one that I have ready for the debut. Uh, even more. Even more. He's so pretty. I kinda wanna give you a sneaky peeky. I also wonder if, um, if I can, um, 
Sneaky peeky. Sneaky peeky. Sneaky peeky. Sneaky peeky. Oh, that. If I can get someone to animate them, like, slightly, I think that would be fun. Uh, Lego panels, gaming screen. There, I'll show you this one. I'm gonna put it over here so you just see this side of it. There you go. That's my custom one. That's my custom one. It's got little paw prints and little stars and a little moon. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to see everything. I'm so excited. The debut's gonna be popping, man. It's gonna be popping. <clears throat> You're going badge. I'm here at 2:30. Nah. See you. Have a good EP. <clears throat> Hi, Aslano. Hi, you don't have a tail to bite. Okay. <laughs> don't eat my new model! You're absolutely not allowed to touch my new model when it comes out. You're not allowed. It's forbidden. It's forbidden fruit. Consider it forbidden fruit. <laughs> Consider it forbidden. Can I have your current tail when you change models? Sure. Sure. Did I change the game? Yeah, I did. Or you can have my current tail. Oh, I have to- I have to- hold on. I have to get ready for Signalis. This isn't me reading ready for Signalis. Fucking hell, man. Come on now. Oh, this isn't what I want. I want this. And this. Is my evil? There it is. <gasps> I got a match, Signalis. Oh. Okay, let's go in the new sheep. Why are you evil? I need to match the game aesthetics. I simply need to match the game. You'll see. You'll see. I match great. What am I doing? Here. Aesthetic so important. <laughs> so important. Okay, and then I need to go to game capture. Malice. And I need to shrink. Oh, it doesn't fit all the way. This is gonna be an issue. I center it like that. I feel like seeing the whole screen is important. Damn. Go in here. Go in here. <laughs> are you doing? I'm all right, Aslano. How are you? The bottom edge. No, we need that. We need that. Um, also gonna turn off the little bouncy emotes because they look weird with the <clears throat> that backlight. Okay, and then tail down. What? No! Yeah, I'm not doing great. Bounce my frog. No, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> they look terrible with the. <clears throat> With the backlight on. Next time, next time. Okay. I did just recently watch the... <sighs> VOD, the last time we played. We have some shit we need to do. I guess we're not done with the computer there. There's a keypad. There's the moon, moon cycles that we need to find. 
Oops, wrong button. There's the tarot table. We don't have all the tarot cards yet. Magpie box was done. Butterfly room, not sure what to do with that yet. Not sure. Wrong button again. There's the scanner. That's it. Oh yeah, the keypad. There was some... The daughter of Anja... How do I look at my memory things? I want to look at that medical database. No, the daughter of Ito Anja. Oh, and I think we can combine these two. Hold on. Combine with this. Yes. Photograph that was developing inside the developing tank. Oh, it's a barcode, so I can probably use that. The scanner room, which was below us. I have to go down right, down right. Hi, spam. Yo. Yo, why is it over there? <laughs> Hold on a second. I knew there would be scuff. I knew there would be scuff. Oh, I didn't even put the... Wait, what? Oh. Yo. Yo, spam, how are you? Kinda want them to be like up here, but I don't know where exactly it'll be. Use another bed, spam! Please! I need to see where this is. Here's good. <laughs> Begging for- Wow! One penny? Thank you, Spam. Here we go. Perfect! <laughs> See? Spam likes me. Spam wants to help out. <laughs> How are you, Spam? You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Spam literally told me, I said, wow, you spent 10,000 bits here because there's a little like bit badge next to next to their name. And he was like, I did it once and I'll do it again. So listen, I'm listen, I'm not doing anything that. Not really. You're stinky. I'm ending stream. <laughs> <laughs> ending stream. <laughs> You're done. You're all fucking done. I hate it here. Sure, sure, spam. Sure. Use photograph, yes. <gasps> Is this a tarot card? Pick up sun. And what's this? Leaving. I've been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working on the photo store in Sector C is bioresonant. Be careful. Wait, we read about we read about bioresonance, but now I don't remember. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I am on the next ship to Kitekes tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too, son. Bioresonant. Huh. Huh. Tarot cards are up, up of. Up. Can you hear the game? Yeah, you can. <clears throat> it's. Doopy doopy doo. 
up again. Ugh. I need to go. Get over there. Oh, my head is not doing good. I probably won't stream for a long time. Oh, it is. My day is okay. I start class in three days, so just breathing XD. Oh, you start class? That's exciting, spam. Something about a sun. I said like Iris and Booyan. Do we have anything for Booyan yet? We don't. Sun goes there. So we need Hamat and Lang. Lang is the mines. Where's my wet sign? I got rid of it. Do you want it back? <clears throat> Do you guys just get sick recently? No, I- oh, my old chat box is here. I need the new one. I, um... Oh my god, I can't talk. <clears throat> I just have a- I just have a headache, pup. Yes, you want it back? I'm gonna put you guys down here. Oh my god, bam! Oh, it's okay, pup. It's okay. They do suck. They do suck. <clears throat> I'll get you your wet force sign for next year. The flesh and the mines for playing. What the fuck was the other one? Well, there's no comment about the other one. So whatever the other one is, it goes in. Oh god, just standing right there. Okay, so next thing is the code, but I'm not sure. The note I have says the birthday of um, Anja's daughter, born in Veneta. Check the last six digits of the PKZ number five. What the fuck does that even mean? Still eeps. He still eeps. Oh. I was eeping all day. I know what that means, Pop. EK. PKZ number five. Oh, that's a PKZ. So it's either her or her. They're the same. Okay, so that's the code. Where's my pen? I'm so smart. <laughs> the last six digits, number five. So one, two, three, four, five. But they're the same number anyway, so. Five, six, zero. Five, two, four. Five two four, yeah. Iso, I thought her name was Isa. Maybe that's a nickname. This is Iso, Isold, and Erica. Okay, do we have to put anything away? 
No. Repair patches. Oh, I don't think I can refill that anymore. Um, I can only do 30? Okay. I'm learning. Shotgun, I can definitely put more in. I think it holds five. Okay. I have my revolver and my pistol. That's good for me. <clears throat> okay. And we go put the pen in. Oh, crack. Oh, crack. You definitely heard that one. That one was very loud. Keypad down there. Hey, yeah, who's getting up? Ah! Okay, five, six, zero, five, two. Oh, because it's the room. I see. The room? Oh, this. Song of the Gods. Banned! Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to but few can hear. This deep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressed is the sound of the stars. Too invasive is the noise of the unaware around them polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that can not only hear and play this music of the worlds, but who can conduct it, gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Hmm. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the Empire of Usan and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants and now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. Huh. Huh. Hmm. That's Issa. Couldn't find her. I looked- I've looked everywhere, but she's not here anymore. Is she talking about her sister? I can't go on. Sorry. No, Issa. It's okay, baby. Oh my god, what's happening to her? It's the disease. No, Isa. Forgive me. No, baby. Prometheus. Here I sit forming mortals. After my image, a face resembling me, to suffer, to weep, to enjoy, to be glad, and thee to scorn as I. Oh, the sisters. Death. Aww. Issa. Erica. You couldn't find Erica? Hmm? He's so loud. 
Zord. I don't know how to say her name. Hi, Dr. Actula. Glad she is banned. Who's banned? Good riddance? No! They were nice! Resonant phenomena. Synchronous synchronicity. Phenomena that are meaningfully related yet lack a casual connection. Good riddance. No! <laughs> it was nice. Nice. <clears throat> It's a Yu-Gi-Oh card? No, it's a tarot card! We've yet to discover the true source of the ability of the mind to alter the physical world. Yet creating physical phenomena remote, remotely, simply, by consciously or unconsciously willing them into existence forms the basis for an entire field of bioresonant technology. Oh, bioresonant was that whole thing about... Um... How, how they put the, how they copied the Gestalt, aka the human, and put them in the robots, right? I sold it to Yu-Gi-Oh card? Oh, which was recently banned. Oh, I see. I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Blue Eyes White Dragon! Yeah, that one. Before the advent of bioresonant technology, the casual correlations were often falsely interpreted simply as chance. Many phenomena such as remote viewing, doppelgangers, or the poly effect have since been classified as synchrono synchronistic phenomena related to bioresonant effects. Oh. The world we live in would be impossible without bioresonance, but its origins remain unclear. If it was truly a divine gift from outer space, as the late Empress claimed, why was she defeated by our great revolutionary had no such divine power. Rows of dusty books. I don't have time to read these right now. Sure you do. Time stops when you read stuff. Sure. We're cut. Oh my fucking god. Okay. There's the butterfly room. Oh, we got the, oh no, it's not the last tarot card. <clears throat> we can go put it, but. Scanner's done. I'm gonna go to the butterfly room since I'm right here, just so I can see it again. The meat room, yeah, the meat grinder. Hey, yo. Mind your business! Why are all of you all out here, man? God. Ew, what the hell happened to this room? This was not like this before. I can't click on anything. But it says I can do something here. <clears throat> Way too many bugs. Is that a new Jewulia emote? That's oh, the safe. Oh. I'm gonna try and smell my name. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Hmm. Incubation box. Incubation box. Get. Is this supposed to be a clue to the number? The letter? They do 
P-A-R-E, is that possible? No. Possible. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the tarot card give me some information? So let's go back there. Still have something to do on the computer. Oh. Hmm. Kind of short. Yo? Mm. This flesh. Pissing me off. <laughs> He's blocking me. What the heck? Wasted those bullets for no reason. Do I have to go to the service room? Yeah. Hey, yo! Stay away from me. All the way to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. This is gross now. Do I have some kind of timer? Terrible. This is closed now. I think that every time I do something right... Something gets blocked off. Do I have to go to the ladder room to get to the hero cards now? Look, that's blocked off now. I should go touch it so the map updates. As of right now, it says I can go there, but I cannot anymore. <clears throat> uh, huge blob of flesh. If no idea, doors could be blocked by yo mama. Hey yo, <laughs> got him. Let's we'll save here. So there's something else to do with the computer. We got A and B. I got all this data. <clears throat> Maybe the the code for the safe isn't here. Maybe A E O N. K L B R. I write these all. A N B R. Molibri. The numbers in here. Maybe we could put an Ito. Uh, 
Why are all of Erica's pictures fucked up? One on that little shrine was messed up too. A baby! Lane might be another one. <clears throat> I'm perplexed. Let's go see if doing this tarot card will change. We have to go ladder. Meat room? Hey yo, mind your business? Damn, what did I do to you? Okay, this is death. So that one should go on... Yeah, lame. So I do need to find another one. Oh! <gasps> oh! God, I clicked on that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bouillon. And that. Was it? Vincia? Rot front. Lang and Kitesh. So we have five out of six. Five out of six ain't bad. That's oh, way over there. Like, okay. Let's go see if we can do anything with that. Probably need the last one though, which is probably in that safe. Uh, Buyan is already correct. Needs to go... That? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Does it go like this or does it go like this? It goes like that, for sure. Anything here? This hole is so scary, dude. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go back up. Would going through the meat grinder be faster? I'm probably blocked from there too. Ah. 
spell, that's what I found. <clears throat> Up to the fire escape. This. Get out of my way! Holy crap! <laughs> Jesus! No, oh, I didn't want you guys to get up. You are scary. Okay, let's try some combination. There is an A. Is there an E? Yes. Is there an O? Ah, uh, N? Ah! Uh. Ah. What the fuck? Incubator for the moss? For the butterflies? Interesting. Is that why they're all here? <laughs> Gross, I hate it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. You know what? You're done. You're done. That's hilarious that you guessed the solution in a totally unintended way. Well, I didn't know where to look for the answer, but that was... You know, I needed four numbers and <laughs> it worked out. We don't do things normals. You're supposed to get the clue from the butterflies. How? The butterflies wings spelled it out? Really? Hmm. Hey, yo! God, I hate it here. I couldn't see anything in the butterflies. <laughs> Why are you sweating? Oh fuck, that shit's getting bigger. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. You know what else is getting bigger? What? I'm scared to ask. My appetite! Meat room! Oh, good lord. <laughs> des nuts. Not the des nuts. Guy has a headache nerve. But also, guy's super buff, so she doesn't need butterflies. True. So true. Use the moon. That's what I have it at! Why didn't nothing work? <laughs> I literally have it as empty because I was like, well, that's the only one that's we don't have yet. Sheesh. What is it supposed to even do, that room? Maybe it wouldn't work unless I had all the cards. They didn't allow it so you could brute force it. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? The light well above has been consumed by the mass of meat, releasing some debris that was caught in the nets above. Pick up the dial ring? Oh, it doesn't have a dial ring? This one doesn't. These might all be backwards. 
or then the other way. <clears throat> Drop front. Hello? Mac, hi Mac. I'm confused. Leon was a full colored in circle, right? <clears throat> so it makes sense that it would be like that. So I'm confused. And the shape I colored for- oh, you can't see. The shape I colored for this one was this. So if the yellow part is the moon, then this should be blocked out. This should be open. This should be like this. This should be this. like this. Rot front should be the way. Not. Not. Hello? How are you, Mac, baby? Hi, Hilds! How are you? Oh, interesting that you roll in now, Hilds. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it interesting now? I'm sad you're sick. I'm doing all right. Up! Oh, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Julia finished with Baldur Gate 3 and is switching games. Oh. She made her character today. Is that a real job? Okay. So. Guy, talk to me about this puzzle. Okay, so what I'm what I'm seeing is there was this playing Baldur's Gate three. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> is that new chat over there? It is. You want to see the new stuff? There's this is new, but I didn't want to place a Dallas on this because the whole screen didn't capture. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted this. Wow. The, the top and bottom of the screen don't fit properly. Um, and I feel like we need that for this game, so that's why I, I was doing that. But, um, that's my favorite ski taunt. What? Oh, get a job. <laughs> get a real job! <laughs> and then this is the new, this is the new, you saw it, but this is the new chatting screen. I'm lagging. Whoa. Wow. No hit yet. No hit yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work through it. I'm gonna work through it. Yeah, it's so pretty, right? I much prefer this style of layouts instead of cam over game. Yeah, I like the darker shades too. I'm glad you like. I'm just bored. I was bored of my other one. I've had it for so long. I've had it for a year. So I figured we'd use this until my debut because I already have my, my other debut stuff um, ready for, uh, for that. I want to show the sneaky peeky again. I show sneaky peeky. I show different sneaky peeky. Ready? Oh, 
that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> okay, back away. What? What? You missed it? Well, you didn't look. Oh. I'm so hard. Oh my god, else. What? Uh, I think I'm gonna make a version of this chat box that will hug the left wall and the right wall. So if we do have different gaming screens, I can have you guys. Because it's centered right now, so. <clears throat> We're looking. We're looking. Okay, so this puzzle, Pop. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there is, there is the places, right? No, I don't want to pick. Maybe they're in the wrong spots. Do you think they're in the wrong spots? I don't think so, man. <sighs> I did them so well. So we matched up these tarot cards to what was in the diary. Kitesh. I embraced my lover. Storm. Sand. Well, nothing remained. This was on the sixth night. I don't know if those numbers matter. On the thirteenth night in Ling, there was flesh. Bones. Death. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. What could be different? Well, the cards could move. On the 16th night on Veneta. I spelled wrong here. 16th night. Storm again. Skyscraper. Ocean below. Lightning. Struck the building and I woke up, okay. 18th night in rot front. I just wrote all that in the rot. Fuck! <laughs> Focus mode. Sixteenth night. Veneta. <clears throat> oh my god, so cute! You like the little emotes, Mac? This almost too sad. No, it's adorable. Me when you guys call me stinky. Ouch. When you call me stinky, this is who you're making fun of. <laughs> Okay, Vanetta, Storm, Lightning, Skyscraper. <laughs> the meme, hello you stinky kitten! <laughs> so funny! <laughs> In the arms of the angels, for a one bit a day, you too can help Sky not be stinky. <laughs> okay, the eighteenth night. Rot front. <sighs> Floating in a sunless sea below the ice. That's a lot of words. Sunless sea below ice. Large creature. Creature. Moon's dark core. 
Okay, okay. On the 19th night, Booyan, there was a burning eye, which I think is the sun. I was walking through the floating Imperial Palace. Imperial Palace. When the gaze of a sun-like iris. Sun-like iris. So not the sun? Burn. And that's all we got. So... Tower. The lightning striking the tower. Lightning striking the building. The storm. That makes sense for Veneta. And that's what I had it on. Okay. We're gonna put that back. Okay. And then we got Star. This one... I'm sorry, I was born stupid. That's a real thing from Danganronpa 2, it's so funny. He tried to sell those stickers for a million dollars. He's like, hey, if you don't... Monica was like, hey, if you don't want to go see my movie, you can buy my merch for a million dollars. It was this one cheap sticker. Hajime was like, yeah, okay. I don't want to watch the damn movie. <laughs> so funny, dude. <laughs> okay, the star. Um, star. I'm not sure what the star is giving me. The moon. The moon. The only one that mentioned the moon was Rot Front. The only one that mentioned the moon was Rot Front. The moon here, perhaps? I had it up top, didn't I? Okay. Okay, and then death. Death, I think, is, is the one with, like, the bones and flesh and, and fucking... Yeah, that makes sense to me. And that one is Lang. So Lang. I think we, that's what we had it on, so we're gonna use death. And then we have sun. Don't worry, Mac, you'll live forever. <laughs> okay, star. Oh, we looked at that one. Sun. So the sun-like iris, the burning eye, that was Booyan. And then we have lovers. And the the first one, Katesh, mentioned lover, storm, and sand. Only one that mentioned lover, though. So Katesh, I'm gonna put lover. Yeah, ma, ma. Booyan, I'm gonna put the sun. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so it was these two I had to switch, probably. This one and this one. Now. Now. Fish. Uyan Bolson Uh Himet This 
My drawings are really bad, but... Veneta? Veneta? This? So? And then rot front is the blank one. And then Lang. Crescent. Okay. Let's try it now. I'm gonna die. Holy shit. You're getting the shotgun, bitch. Fucking asshole. <laughs> who the fuck? Who is this bully? Man! So mean! Where am I going? Down. Down. What the fuck? This is not... Correct. We go down the ladder. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Guy, yeah, I just want to say P3 remake is 90, 93 Canadian dollars. No, it ain't. No, you're lying to me, Mac. You're lying to me. There's no way. Are you serious right now? What the fuck? That's crazy. That's absurd. That's a remake. Uh, the pistol don't do shit, man. I cry every time. No, poor Mike. It sure is. 9349 plus local tax. Fuck me. The Persona fans are crying and cringing. Why does Canada do this? That's a great fucking question. Okay, let's see. We have to change. Um. Oh sure. Why do, Why does Elster just love going in fucking holes? Why? Do... Oh, we've been here. Wait, this is where we started the game. The last seal has been broken. It's time to go home. Pick up the king in yellow. My inventory's empty. Grilling Justin Trudeau over JRPG prices. <laughs> 107 for me. No. He's lesbian. Thanks. My inventory is empty. This is not good. Oh. Hello? Oh. Auntie's nose. <clears throat> Ari, I left some of yesterday's dinner in the fridge for you. You can warm it up when you get back from school. Please pick up the books your uncle ordered from the Ito bookstore on your way home. Remember, please leave space in your school bag for them this time so you don't, so they don't get wet. That was in bold red. 15%? <clears throat> I have 13% tax. Got to signal some beta boobies just for Mac? Oh my. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Workforce assignment for our baby. We've been informed that your compulsory military service period was recently completed. According to our files, you have pr previously graduated the Mandelbrot Polytechnical, Polytechnical High School in Rotford Sector C on R34.59C. And have recently submitted an application for a military service assignment Penrose program. That's how we met. <clears throat> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. You have been processed by AON Workforce Assignment. Uh, previous work experience, store clerk, part-time at the photo store, military service, long-range radio operational officers training. Did you not be accepted by a military service program by the end of the season or find other employment, you will be assigned the following workplace. Rapinski Production and Mining Facility on Lang. They're from Mother. My dearest Ari, I'm so glad that you're he to hear you're feeling better again. I was very worried when I heard from your aunt that you're in the hospital again. I still remember how I used to get sick so much as a child. Please don't exert yourself, okay? Overexert yourself. The photo you sent me is very interesting. What a strange coincidence that she looks so much like you. You could be twins. Perhaps she was related to us somehow, though I don't know anyone named Sio in our family. Oh! That's the other girl we were looking for. <clears throat> from the looks of it, it was shot in Veneta. Your military service will begin soon, so you might be wearing a uniform like her soon enough. Please send me a photo when that happens. Love, Mother. What? Oh, I'm all 20. I don't have my flashlight anymore. Oh, I do. <clears throat> what is your sexual orientation? Polytechnical? <laughs> I'm beset of boobies? Oh my lordy, have mercy. Did she get the photo and she zoomed all in? Did look by Dude, are you okay today? <laughs> are you okay, dude? This is the end. What? No. Wait. No. Why did it say that? That's so ominous. Why did it say that? I literally don't know what dude was talking about. I'm feeling excluded. Same. <laughs> I'm never okay. <laughs> if only we could all be set with the boobies. Oh my god. Leave forever? Okay, I guess. Oh god, now we're back here? What's happening? Did I brought all my weapons? Adler's note. All efforts to contain this illness have been in vain. All the guest salt workers have succumbed to it, leaving only dark shadows on walls and floors where they died. Oh, the dark shadows. Remember in the cafeteria? And soon all of us replica will have lost our senses and turned into writhing masses of flesh. Oh, the flesh is the replicas? What? God. I now believe it was not an infectious disease, nor some form of poison or radiation. It was a slow corruption of reality itself. As I relive the same cycle over and over, each time details changed. Things are twisted, added, removed. Yeah, we did that too. We did the same cycle. Almost. How long until it all turns to nothing but noise? Where, where are you, Adler? What the fuck? <laughs> a red dream, a crashed ship, a strange gate, a hole in the ground. That's us! That's what happened to us! You sleepy frog, you gonna go bad? Mwah, I love you, Hills. Have good eepy time. You forgot about that? Yeah, the so they must have died there and then became those monsters. Oh, that's when like their soul left their body, I guess. An island beyond reach. The island, the island that that Ari was painting. Memories from other lives, dreams and suffering of suffering and loneliness. A promise, a search for someone lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw her in the red emptiness, waiting for me. We had made a promise. As the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind, I felt the borders of myself blur. <gasps> Wait, are we the replica of of Isa of of Sio? 
Maybe that's what, maybe that's what it is. Because we were initially looking for her. And then it, wait. <gasps> now I can no longer tell, tell while Falk ends and Elster begin. Yo! Wait, 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 wait. Stop. You must turn back. There's nothing for you there. You've tried so many times and you failed every time. Don't you see that you're ruining everything? This is your final warning. What if I go back? Falk's memory. We were dancing to that song they start the broadcast with. We fell asleep watching that movie we had seen before so many times. If only I could take us back to that time when we were happy. These memories are mine now. Paintings. I go back. First seal, now Lincoln Park. This game is too crazy. <laughs> You're the one making the references. What the fuck? This is a different room. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Replica overview. Overview. That's us, Elster. Versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for overall service. Tough and stoic, yes. Sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when they're iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration. We're not white and blue, though. This is mech's room? No way! <laughs> Did we talk smack? No way! Mech, I'm so sorry. Everybody, close the stream. Max eyes only. Sports bullet resistant armor. Since the original neural pattern from this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, new LSTR units have been produced based on the decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. So my original was the commander? God. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture discovered. Storage box with a removable die on the front. Yeah, we were in the Penrose program. We were with Ari in the Penrose program. Calibri again. And an argument. No matter what I do, that woman just always has to have the last word. A good investment, so no adjustments will need to be made for now. Another new star unit, her head on a door frame. What? <laughs> and she was playing the first uh, Ukoden program? Program? Game? One of the characters is called Lady Leak Nat or something. I kept calling her Lady Lick Nuts. Oh my god, now I can't see. Oh my god. Star is a mood. <laughs> the bunks. <clears throat> Had to go down to the mining site today for a scheduled inspection. The new Elster unit showing some surveying equipment to me when someone when something she said about planets and stars suddenly made me realize what the dial reminded me of an astro astronomical calendar i will have to investigate further at once now that my shift is over little omega of that box could only distract me from the dullness of work for so long all the box contained was a small notebook of which all pages turned out to be blank. While the mechanism is fascinating, I'm not quite sure what to do with the box yet. Would it make a nice gift for the commander? Maybe I should ask Colibri what she thinks. In a fit of adventure, adventurousness, adventure, <laughs> I decided to try something new for dinner and promptly regretted it. I could barely stomach the taste. Such a disgustful combination of sweet and savory made me sick. What'd you have? Another jar refilled for no benefit to my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet. This is similar to the last diary we made, but I think there was some different parts. Oh, diary? Oh, it's the same thing. No, it's not. <clears throat> Did 
feel like the real horror in this game is all the damn reading. It's not usually this much. I think it's because we're close to the end of the game. Halfway through the meeting, she stormed out of the room for no discernible reason. While incredibly rude of her, I don't particularly mind since I've had quite the annoying headache ever since this morning. I had a dream tonight, the first one in a long time. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow. That's Ari. I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards. Oh, the tarot cards? I can't remember what I was doing with them. I had to go down to the mining site. Waiting for the new LSTR unit. We are. Ah, for getting sick. Finally managed to open the strange box. All it contained was a small notebook. Why are there different diaries of the same thing? Oh, because he was doing the cycle over and over. That's why. I feel like somehow knew beforehand. Yeah, if I, as if I've already opened the box. Did I dream it? Yeah. Apparently there's more rumors of the infectious disease spreading among the Gestalt workers. Could it be another flu outbreak? Yeah, because he went through the same cycles over and over. <gasps> Hi there! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! I love you so much. How are you? You got my girl dinner! Have a fun time, dude. How are you? Are you been lurking? Thank you. Hi, I love you! Hmm. Another diary. So this is 8421. Oops. 8421. It's all dated the same. 8421. Wow. That's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Had my second day at the new job today. Yay! And it went great. Yay! I'm so happy. I was going to ask you last stream if you had gone yet. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I think you were, you were busy doing other stuff, so I didn't want to bother you, but that's so exciting! Yay! I'm glad you're enjoying it, that's awesome. Piece of furniture, yeah. Without Calibri's help, it's become much harder to coordinate the logistics cod cadre. She wants to make others respect her order. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. Another memory of my guest adult life. There's Ari again, was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them. And asked her to guess the planet of the card I was holding. I really remember a conversation I had with another replica when I was expecting the mining site. Us! Elster! However, it was clearly a model I've never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chess piece, and my memory it was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed. Oh. So, hmm. Commander fell ill, more sick, making my work even harder. Hmm. Another diary filled. Hmm. As the loops keep going, things get overwritten and deteriorate. Like Elster at the mine. Yeah. That's crazy. So everyone's going through this loop. What if I go in this room again? Will it be different again? No, okay. That's crazy. Found your badge! Yeah, I reallocated some of them. I removed a bunch of people. Um, so now you have a founder's badge! I just wanted it to go to people who have been around, you know, lately. Past year. It will! Heather. Love you. Yeah, Heather got one, Mimi got one. Remember. There's lots. <gasps> What's that? Why did you return? That's Falk. There's nothing for you here. Um, hello? <laughs> He'll never dance with us again. No matter what we do. He doesn't even want us anymore. How do you know that? Hi, Falk. Oh, good god. Both of us, we are incomplete. 
Let us become whole again. No, don't consume me, please! Please! I don't want to be consumed! Oh my Jesus. Oh. Wait, how do I... Why did I forget the buttons? <laughs> what did I forget? This is not the time to be forgetting the buttons. Use? Hmm. Oh, I have all my... Oh no, I don't. Ooh. I'm not carrying anything. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, do I use it now? Combine spear with... Put it in my machine gun? What's happening? How do I use? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Early! Nice description. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god. Oh my god, what is happening? Spears, why am I picking them up? Ouch. Heels? Okay, I have to hit. Okay. There's a heel, there's a heel, there's a heel, there's a heel. Oh, fuck! What the hell is that? Give me that. <laughs> uh, I have more pistol ammo. I have a shotgun. I don't have. No. Just pick up the ammo that I have. Oh god. Weapons for, right? Oops. 
Oh shit. Oh god. Stop it, Falk. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. What the fuck is that? to pick up all her spears? Keeps taking them. Fuck. Oh my god, I can't see fucking shit! What? I should have combined those two with the... Um, yeah, I'm out of... <laughs> I'm out of shots. I'm out of health. I'm out. There's nothing in this room. I'm out. What do I do? I have to die. Redo. Kill me, bitch. I have to bring the shotgun and the rifle. Because <clears throat> I'm getting ammo for those two. Okay, 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 okay. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. <laughs> okay, let me catch up with chat real quick. <clears throat> Koberman told me yesterday that letting someone cook, etc. is his new favorite phrase. <laughs> Let her cook! Somehow I haven't heard it much. Oh, so I love that as soon as I'm aware I see it being used expertly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sounded angry just a bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> get her! I'm gonna get her this time. You did so good. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna get her this time. We're gonna get all of our shit. Over capacity. 
No revolver, shotgun, no flare gun, rifle. And everything's... Wish I could bring some ammo. Maybe I'll... I won't bring that. I bring this. Have to go make lunch for tomorrow and start winding down for the night. That's okay, Heather. Thank you for being here. Go make some good lunchy. Oh, it's freaking dark, man. I love you. Thank you for being here. Time for folk to die. Good night, good night. Pretty. Got me with the spear. Okay, I understand now. I understand. I need a spot to pick up a spear. <clears throat> Cause that's how the, the, the thingy goes around her, I think. And I get to move on to the next stage. Because the the spears were ending up in her fucking face. <laughs> I don't know how, but uh yeah, I think this is good. <clears throat> thinky, you stinky. This is the end, yep. The end. Okay. Heart's pounding. <gasps> How do you know she doesn't want us anymore? How do you know that? You don't know. You don't know. me oh 
I thought I would be out of the way, but I wasn't. I mean, no room. What do you mean, no room? Oh, it's pistol ammo. room. Doing good. Fuck. Uh, I can't believe inventory management is actually a thing that's happening in the final boss fight. <laughs> I can't believe it. Base to combine. You're kidding!
That's all I have left. us oh fuck the blood violent scene missing well thanks for that thanks for censoring that <laughs> we found her no are we dreaming pictures Falk. Not Falk. Adley. Now we are one. Been waiting for this for a long time. Once again. You've returned. No, I don't want to go through this cycle again. Are you really willing to go through with this once more? Seeing what happens. This world cannot take much more. This may be our last chance. If you go back. It'll all fall apart. I can't let that happen. Selfish monster. Destroy everything. partially open. I signed up for this mission, I just wanted to get away from everything. I was sick of rot front of school, of the photo store, sick of the fake smiles and the whispering behind people's backs. When I saw the photo of that soldier, I was wondering who she was. Was she happy? Was her family proud of her? Did her comrades love her? Since we looked alike, could I have been like her? But in the end, I just wanted to leave. Nothing I had done or made ever meant anything to anyone, so why bother? Here I am finally free. I get to be myself and to do what I want. I can finally be happy. That's Ari. Mm. Talked some more to the Elster unit. She's different from the replicas I knew back home. Nothing like my teachers or the blockwork protector. I know she didn't have a choice, but it feels like she's also here because she didn't fit in. It feels like we've run away from the world together. Oh, so sweet. At first, I didn't like having someone around, but I was glad that she's quiet and didn't approach me. But lately, I've mi I've missed having someone I could talk to. It's been so long since I've seen I've last seen another person. I never thought I'd miss her, except her. Everything is the same in here always. Nothing ever changes. 
phase three thousand cycles reach the final phase of the penrose program with the end of the operational lifetime of your replica unit approaching what no we're gonna die it is time to prepare for the final phase of your mission if you have not found a suitable world for landing by this point accept that you will not find solace in the thought that others might be successful where you failed as you are probably aware, your ship's spare parts and rations will soon be depleted. I have a feeling she didn't land us just because she didn't, didn't want to. She just wanted to be with us, and that's it. Life support systems and reactor shieldings will soon begin to fail, and radiation may begin to leak from the cooling system. We recommend that you do not attempt to prolong your suffering by reusing oil filters and rationing supplies. Instead, make peace with your fate. We suggest that you ask your replica, while it is still functional, to spare you a slow and agonizing death, or that... You take permanent rest in the cryogenetic pod. Remember, you will die having served your nation by partaking in a glorious demonstration of our power. That's fucked up, buddy. Oh, there's one of her paintings. <gasps> no, it's leaking. Like a 1,294. I need some lip balm before I keep reading. had a strange dream. I was listening to the radio with my mother. Like back then, the numbers were on and mother was taking notes with a book on her lap. It was that book I saw in the shop window of the bookstore where the twins lived, the one with the yellow hooded figure on the cover. When I went there to buy it, it was gone and Erica said the protectors had confiscated it. Or was it Issa? I can't remember. Michael 1840. Everything is always the same. I feel like I'm trapped inside this ship. I know every bolt and every panel and every room. I've never, I've seen everything. I've done everything there is to do here. I can't concentrate on anything. I feel like there's a fog inside my head and whenever I try to do anything, I just can't focus. I want to go outside. I want to breathe fresh air. I want to feel wind in my face and in my hair. Cycle 2,503. I think I lost more hair. I'm sitting here getting older. Every time I wake up, I feel older, weaker, sicker. I get out of breath so easily lately. My back hurts when I sit down. How much longer will this go on? I feel like I'm just slowly dying. Aww. So what happened? Did the ship crash or what? 5,000... I'm tired of it all. Every time I go to sleep, I wonder if I'll wake up again. I'm scared that it'll be the last time I said goodnight to her. Did I say it right? Will she be okay? What if one of us just won't wake up tomorrow? Cycle 5,400? So they lived way beyond... I think was expected. I don't want to die. I don't want to live anymore either. Everything is just so exhausting. I just want to lie down and disappear. That's a big mood. I just want to sleep. Please just let me sleep. Please just make it stop, please. Did Elster kill her? Like 2,000 cycles more? Yeah, that's crazy. What's this? Couldn't keep my promise. Despite my best efforts, I eventually fell ill too. It had to end this way. Wait, what? This is us? Wait, excuse. That was just from like a previous cycle? I feel like I missed some stuff. I don't want to miss anything. Can't go down there. Oh, I can't go here. Here. Yeah, this was 1500 cycles. Where we came in. Okay, I can't go these ways. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. So how is our body there, but then also... What? We can interact with the pipes? Yeah. Try my best to patch it up, but we eventually ran out of spare parts. Yeah, because the note the note said that you it would run out. But welcome in, Bejeweled. It's nice to meet you. How are you doing? Time. This is all that's left. Go home. Go home! My heart! Sorry. Remember, I promise.
This game gotta make me cry. I'm alive. Dude. Can't do it. Have to do it. Time for this to end. Please. No, not the- no, come on, can't you shoot her or something? Fuck. That's fucked up. Sorry. Trying to. What the fuck? Alright sad moment over, mm -hmm. who we fucking up now? Forgot to mention, did you shower because I can smell that rank ass from here. Uh. Love you bish. <laughs> no I didn't because I don't feel good. <laughs> hello Stimpy Cat, hello! Stimpy Cat be game! Be game! Monkey asked me if I enjoyed this game, and I fucking did very much. Very, very much. I like that you saved until after the sad moment. It was very nice of you. It was nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. That's probably why you don't feel well, because you don't shower. That is not- that is simply not true. Lint! Glowy Lint. Oh, this music is so sad. Oh my god. This game was great. I really liked it. Whoa. That was one of multiple endings. I figured. Figured. Wow. Mama and Papa! Are published by Humble Games. Let's go. That's where I first heard about this. Um, this game was the. Uh, I don't know if it was the Wholesome Direct or whatever, but it was in a. It was in a Humble Games thing. Can I watch a story explained now, Pop? I guess a story theory. <laughs> Watch all the endings? Okay. Um, da -da, da -da. Uh, 
Oh, based on how you play, that is interesting. What kind of- what could you have done differently? You run away and save a lot, or, or if you're more aggressive? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I was in- in the- in the middle. <laughs> what is more of a secret ending? Come on, fucking Firefox, you're not that important. You don't- you don't need to use all my CPU to fucking load YouTube homepage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, who does Firefox think he is, man? Oh, the artwork. Oh my god, I'm gonna go on a fucking artwork deep dive into the internet of these two. They're so cute. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> do we want to watch the Signalis All Endings Explained 15 minute video? Or do we want to watch the A Complete Story Breakdown of Signalis 2 hour video? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Which one do you want to watch? Hmm. I say the two hour one for sure. <laughs> oh, let's just go with the endings. Let's just go with the endings. One is better than the other? Well, which one is better, Pop? I want to watch the better one. Results! I need entertainment. Now show me the source. The source? Total healing one th- Death cheated three times! Shots fired. Ending promise. Did I write this code down? I only died six times? I'm a gamer! <laughs> Average time between saves, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have it on stream if I need it. Hold any key to get to. Wow. At least Elster isn't dead on our screen here. Well, if I click continue, what happens? <laughs> oh, it's just the end. Begin anew. Wow. This game was fucking phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. I'm missing some achievements. Three hidden achievements. Remember our promise. Aww. <laughs> Cute. Cuties. I like the video making sense of Signalis, but the complete story breakdown is probably good. I don't remember. Oh, this one. Well, this making sense of Signalis one is 43 minutes. We could do that.
It should be obvious from my channel output that horror is my favorite genre. We don't I care. I being scared, <laughs> I like stories that are on the darker side, and I like the freedom that writing horror gives you. But one yep. thing that I don't think horror gets enough credit for is its ability to tell truly amazing stories better than other genres. A lot of my this favorite video game stories are from horror games, and the genre continues to produce some amazing Oh, I love Inside. Signalis is the most recent triumph of the indie game horror community, a labor of love created primarily by two people, and it might just be That's one of the greatest horror people. games ever made. That may sound like a bold claim, but I truly believe it. Signalis is a complex game filled with incredible survival horror gameplay, unreliable narrators, and a story that constantly contradicts itself, yet also features one of the most beautifully tragic narratives I've ever seen. In this mm. video, I'm going to be thoroughly exploring the world of Signalis, talking about its gameplay and art inspirations, and giving you my full breakdown on both the story and the timeline of events. Signalis is one of those games that's best experienced with as little knowledge as possible. If you haven't played it for yourself, then I highly recommend doing so before watching this video. You have been warned. I have been warned! I just beat the game, but it's okay. I wonder where I the name Signalis came from. I played a game with from. a better cold opening than Signalis. The game begins in a very typical sci-fi manner. Our protagonist wakes up from a pod in a spaceship named the Penrose. With no meaningful information or explanation for how she got here, you explore the ship and eventually come across the flight deck. Instead of inky black, the window depicts a snowy landscape. Whatever the purpose of this ship was, it seems to have failed long ago, and now lies stranded in the middle of nowhere. While the logs mention another passenger, there's no sign of anyone else on the ship, so you continue to search. After solving a puzzle and opening the airlock, you find yourself wandering the seemingly desolate planet. Now that you get a better look at it, you can see there are signs that something was once here, large black monoliths sticking out of the ground, leading to a central point. Pressing forward, you eventually come across a hole, unnaturally drilled into the rock, with steps that lead down. At the bottom, the ground and walls are a deep red, and with no other landmarks to guide you, your only option is to investigate a large hole in the wall. The we game love crawling asks through you holes. to crawl through it. Once you pass through the tunnel, you find yourself somewhere very unusual. An office complete with books, radio equipment, a flag, and other bits and pieces. What's more, the entrance you came from has disappeared. A familiar book lies on the desk a so-called ancient tome, the King in Yellow. Once you pick it up, the radio bursts to life, and begins emitting a set of numbers and a warning. The game begins to fall apart. Fast cuts show people and events we haven't seen, an extract from H.P. Lovecraft's The Festival is ominously displayed on a pure red background, and our protagonist's face begins to peel away, revealing oh, that was the, the metal poem parts that was beneath. The a single line hangs on the screen for multiple seconds. Remember our promise. Then, the game begins. This opening does everything it needs to do and more. It establishes that this is a science fiction story, but then subverts it with The Office to show that it's not quite as simple as that. The gameplay immediately tells you that this is a survival horror game, as it gives you little indication of which way to go or what is going on beyond a few notes, and it has you solve a basic puzzle to learn how to interact with objects. This is all within the first 15 minutes, and while it's very light on story, it's a fantastic setup for the mystery that follows. The overall style of the game can be summed up as cassette futurism, a future where humanity is so advanced that they've explored and colonized multiple Master planets, level yet monster still use technology from the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the Yo, why am I lagging so much? Command line interface in 2122, or Shinji's literal cassette tape from Evangelion in the year 2015. Sometimes this style exists because of some in-world justification, and other times it's just because that's what people of the era thought the future would be like. The world of Signalis oh. is a bleak depiction of an Eastern Bloc style nation in space called Yusan, filled with questionable work practices and propaganda. While they still have CRT TVs and cassette tapes, the Yusan regime has managed to create a series of robots called replicas, each with different characteristics and uses. Most of the NPCs you meet throughout the game are various replicas, called only by their product name, Star, Yule, Stork, and many others. Elster herself is also a replica. The reason for the nation's reliance on old technology is explained late into the 
the game, but it also fits the aesthetic from a design point. Yusan is a cross between a number of real world cultures, but seems to be primarily based on East Germany, due to German being the most commonly seen language throughout the game. The character names on the other hand have a distinctly Asian style, and Chinese, Japanese, and Korean all appear at different points throughout the game on signage. Most of the game's world building is told through old documents, and occasional dialogue from NPCs, but it's clear that by the time we take control of Elster, something has gone terribly wrong for the people of Yusan. This game is capital S survival horror. That means you've got very limited resources, inventory space, and a relatively frail health bar. While exploring the first area, a facility named Sierpinski, Elster runs into her first enemy, the shambling corpse of a Yule unit that suddenly stands up and attacks her. Their erratic movement and glitchy appearance, combined with a horrific scream, makes them a perfect survival horror enemy. They're slow, sure, but unlike other survival horror enemies that are relatively easy to run around, they deal damage by simply touching Elster. Thankfully, yeah, it's sucked. relatively <laughs> easy to keep them at a distance and take them out with a few well-timed bullets, but yeah. even that's not enough. Once you knock them down, you have to stomp on their bodies or shoot them again to make sure they stay down. After a while of running back and forth solving puzzles, you'll eventually return to a room you've already cleared, only to find the enemies getting right back up and coming for you yet again. The only way to prevent them from getting back up is by using the rare flares scattered throughout the game, which burn the bodies until they're unable to get back up. To put it in the most reductive way possible, the enemies in Signalis combine the features of a few different survival horror enemies. The stomp and general design of the enemies seem like a send up to Silent Hill, and the yeah. flare mechanic is obviously very reminiscent of the Crimson Heads from the Resident Evil remake. Much like Remake, this mechanic adds an extra layer to your resource management. If you kill an enemy only for them to get back up, you'll just be wasting ammo, but since the flares are so limited, you're most likely only going to use them on enemies in very specific locations, like tight hallways that you visit often, or outside of major puzzles or save rooms. The mm. enemy encounters combine a lot of the greatest aspects of different survival horror games to create very satisfying gameplay. You'll probably notice the more familiar you get with the game, that each enemy seems to take a different amount of bullets to take out. Sometimes they go down in one or two pistol shots, other times four or five. This variable health means that completely solving the game's combat is impossible. If you load up your shotgun with five shells, you can't be guaranteed that you'll be able to kill five enemies with it. You can get a decent estimate, but you'll never 100% know how each combat encounter is going to go, especially when you factor in the seemingly random chance of enemies getting back up. <laughs> Almost just like me. mechanic and Signalis has an in-world explanation, and nowhere is that better exemplified than with the game's unique mechanic, the radio. In survival horror, we are all accustomed to finding passwords and codes scribbled on notes or walls. And while this is fine when you're investigating an abandoned apartment building, it wouldn't make sense for a surveillance state as strict on security as Yusan to just have all of their secrets lying around in the open. Their in-universe solution for this I'm out. was I'm to out. change the passwords frequently. <laughs> Bitch got back up. I'm out. Through secret frequencies that only a few people have access to. Mechanically, this means that once Elster gets her radio, she has to find different frequencies that'll allow her to open whatever doors or safe she needs to unlock. This is the perfect marriage of so does gameplay that mean, and story. So Elster was able to see the confidential things because she was a commander? I'm still a little bit confused on like what Never mind, never mind, don't listen. A mechanic that's video. unique and fun to use <laughs> that doesn't feel contrived. I loved seeing how many different ways the game used the radio, and it makes sense that a lot of the game's biggest secrets are hidden behind it. Even your inventory has an in-universe explanation. Elster only has six inventory slots, which is laughably low when you consider how many items you find throughout the game. Oftentimes you'll enter a room with four items sitting there, and if you've got a healing item, plus a single weapon with no spare ammo, and a puzzle item, most likely you can't even pick them up and that's just one room. The in-game explanation for this comes from a propaganda poster in the beginning of the game, which reads, oh. Remember the rule of six. Never carry more than six items on your person. Private property is a privilege. From a mechanical point of view, the tiny inventory encourages you to play the game in a very specific way. Carry as few items as possible, and use them when you get them. Most of the time, I couldn't even afford to carry spare rounds for my gun, so I would reload at the item box and only use my gun sparingly. Another thing I found myself doing was leaving all my healing items in the box, and if I got hurt while traversing the level, I just had to hope that I would come across one naturally that I could use immediately, which meant I could also pick them up without taking up a slot. All of Signalis' gameplay is well thought out, both in the context of the world you're exploring, but also in the genre it exists in. It that has a very clear horrible. love for survival horror, <laughs> and it manages to offer a fresh take on a very nostalgic style. 
Because Fox was saying that we're the we're, we need to be complete again. The more time I spend away from Signalis, the more my appreciation for it seems to grow. When I first beat it and got the promise ending, I was very happy with it. I thought it was a fantastic game. Then I went back and got some more endings, and every room seemed to be brimming with new significance. I caught more details, found conversations that I missed the first time through, and by the time I saw the credits roll again, I fell more in love with it. The world building in this game is phenomenal. The way they portray the Yusan regime at war with the shadowy the empire, ending. the different replicas and their built in flaws, and the totalitarian hellscape that these people lived through. All of it is extremely intriguing, but when I think of Signalis, all I can think of is the tragedy of Ariane and Elster, and how every single character was predestined to fail. In the very beginning of the game, Elster wakes up on the Penrose and finds a photograph on the flight deck. The description reads, Despite the damage, Ariana Young can still be seen on it. Later, after picking up the King in Yellow and finding herself on Sierpinski, Elster still has a photograph in her inventory. If you aren't paying too much attention, you might not even notice that the picture has changed, along with the description. Despite the damage, Alina So can still be seen on yeah! it. Yeah! This discrepancy becomes even more- Wait, what? What is that all about? More obvious, when you discover a number of diaries scattered throughout the world written by Alina, as she descends further into the mine. Her diaries mention they Elster got you and wonders so what good. To her. Oh my but god. The question remains, which Elster are we playing as? Is the Elster from the opening the same Elster on Sierpinski, but with a different photograph looking for a different woman? As Elster travels further, things start ah. making less and less sense. She enters frequent first-person segments where she lives at a scene from a completely different person's life, and comes back from them with tangible items. Areas begin to reappear, now corrupted by masses of red flesh, and the few sentient characters left continue to degenerate. We're slowly drip-fed information about the replicas, how they work, and where they come from. As the name suggests, they're robots created for various tasks. Some were created for dangerous labor, others as soldiers and scouts, but some serve an even greater function. All of the replicas in Sierpinski are part of a hierarchy, with a leader named Falk at the top. Falk units are described as a nearly godlike being, with the ability to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions. Below the Falk unit is Adler, an administration unit that acts as their secretary and helps them carry out tasks. There are a couple of unique replicas, but of note is the Colibri, a unit designed to read the minds of humans and replicas, who are frequently used to ensure no one is going against the Usan regime. Each replica unit is identical, and based on the neural pattern of a previous human, although those records are either classified or missing. At some point during the mining operation on Sierpinski, the workers discovered something strange deep within the rock. Due to its unusual nature, the Falk unit decides to investigate alone. She never told anyone what she saw, but when she returned, she became sick, and that sickness spread through the facility. Humans who fell ill died almost immediately, whereas the stronger replicas would continue to corrupt until they became the monsters they are now. For most of the game, this is the central mystery. What did Falk see? and how did it cause a sickness like this to spread? Our one clue comes in a diary entry where she mentions the red eye and a white-haired girl. After finding her way through the mines, Elster discovers what Falk saw, a gate much like the one from the opening. When she enters, she finds herself in a red desert, and eventually comes across the Penrose once again. Still not quite sure what is spurring her on, she attempts to open a hatch and gain access, destroying her arm in the process and falling. After the false ending, Elster once again wakes up in a pod on the Penrose. Not this time, the false though, ending, the cockpit man. shows that the ship is still in transit. After some investigating, we finally meet Ariane Young, the single human occupant of the Penrose. They embrace, and kiss, and dance, and spend lonely nights drifting through space, on a course to some unknown system in hopes of finding a habitable planet. This memory, from a completely different time, long before the events of the game actually take place, can't possibly be happening now. Elster reawakens with one arm missing they? and her chest ripped open. She drags her way through the Penrose to the cryogenic freezer and finds the carcass of a previous Elster unit. She scavenges the body for parts and continues on her journey, now seemingly aware of the promise she has to keep. This scene is the game's smoking gun. Not the miners digging up some ancient artifact, or Falk bringing the sickness back, or even the Yusan government developing replica technology. This journey on the Penrose was the beginning of it all. Oh, they're so cute! Red eye and this eye. 
puppies here. From Hi, puppies. From the moment you hit play, Signalis makes its influences very apparent. Survival oh, horror is one of those genres with two defining behemoths so it's almost impossible to play one without seeing some essence of them within it. However, I do think Signalis takes the mantle of having oh, the most the King homages Yellow. I've ever caught in a single game. I'm not just talking about Resident Hi. Evil and Silent Hill either. There's tons of references to other media sprinkled throughout the game's runtime. About halfway through, when Kanji started flashing on the screen, and a scene replicated a moment from Neon Genesis Evangelion almost one-to-one, -one, I found myself asking a question. Is there such a thing as too many homages? Oh my Firstly, God, he has a little before we get into character. this question, <laughs> I want to make it clear that I don't think Signalis is hacky or anything. And I think that's where You're my good. surprise comes from. Every 15 Hi, minutes I'm it okay. felt like I was going, I really Oh, this gameplay moment is from X game. Or, oh, you that like really scene nice looks identical to a you. scene from X anime. I was matching and the aesthetic normally, I would find that massively <laughs> frustrating. I love an occasional reference or cheeky I like this video has less story stuff but in it. But when something feels part? like it's just running through a checklist of references, oh, the art of I often find it fairly cheap. So... ...to Ariane's mother in one of the flashbacks, tells us that she eventually left the outpost to go to school in Rotfront. We now learn the results of that decision. In an earlier flashback while playing as Issa, we see a girl with white hair being bullied by faceless students. They push her to the ground and begin kicking her, before it cuts Aww. to a close-up shot of Ariane. In a report found late into the game, one of her teachers describes her as remarkably odd, and expresses disgust at her obsession with paintings, music, Nobody and other such nonsense. Why? The teacher ends with the note I can only hope military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of her in a way that the school has failed to do so far. The teacher also speaks of the Ito sisters, Isa and Erica, with similar disdain, as their family bookstore reportedly sells contraband books. In cool. another note, a spy Bro. for the Empire writes that the white-haired girl who works in the photo store may be bioresonant, a term that has come up multiple times throughout the game. While not fully explained, bioresonance is a peculiar ability that seems to allow a person to connect to something far beyond them. It's also the same ability mm. that allows Falk to control people and manipulate objects I love you mind. too. We'll come back to this soon enough. Not feeling like she truly belonged, Ariane would eventually sign up for military duty on the Penrose program, after finding a photograph of a woman in military uniform who looked just like her. A woman named Alina So. She would eventually be accepted and placed on the Penrose with a lone Elster unit. At first, this was ideal for Ariane. She much preferred her isolated life on the outpost to the fakeness of the big city, and felt that this could be her chance to focus on her painting and live in isolation. As time went on, however, she found herself missing company, and began to spend more time with her Elster unit. During the dancing flashback, Ariane says that they're celebrating their 3000 cycle on the Penrose, so by that point, the two are intimately familiar with each other. That that flashback also gives us one of the most tragic notes in the game, an unopened document about the Elster units and their mm -hmm. known issues. I hate it. This they were selected the for the Penrose mission due to their reliability under long-term isolation conditions, and it states that their original neural pattern is based on a soldier of Venetian origin. As a side note, we're never outright told who the original neural patterns for the replicas were. However, I believe the answer for Elster is hidden in Rotfront. In the photograph of Alina, we see a second girl standing next to her, with a very similar hairstyle to Elster. Alongside the photographs is a list of names, and one in particular stands out. Lilith Ito, presumably a relative of the Ito sisters. This isn't 100% guaranteed mm. to be Elster's original Gestalt, however it does fit the few details we have about her. Back Bro. to the and note, she did get it her ends eye with a clear the message. To avoid resurfacing the I Gestalt was thinking memories, that maybe, not... maybe also um, Elster was um, Erica's replica, because all those photos of Erica were all blurred out, and then at the end, um, Issa also had her eye was damaged. So there's like an eye thing going on with the with the right eye. <clears throat> so I thought maybe it was her because there was the, the two similar eye things, but. Uh... Not show or give the Elster Unit photographs, <clears throat> yeah. especially of soldiers during the war. Do not show the Elster Unit movies or let it listen to music. Do not try to befriend the Elster Unit. Whether Ariane would have heeded this warning had she read it is unknown. Regardless, with no one else but them on the ship, they inevitably became very close. She did say, I, I still haven't read a whole bunch of but the manuals. She probably skipped that Elster one. <laughs> playing as, as the I was like, do not befriend your Elster unit. <laughs> well, 
technically it is the same elster it feels at like least an echo the yeah same personality a note around the midway point of the game explains that, that while the original elster unit was based on a soldier the neural pattern was lost and in order to continue production all future units were based on the neural pattern of a recovered elster unit from a failed penrose mission a neural pattern that was already corrupted by her time with ariane this explains why her memories seem so vivid yet she can't possibly exist at the same time as ariane the driving force for her isn't from her oh. lifetime it's an ancient goal to fulfill to remember the promise a previous version of her made long ago but what about the mysterious alina so if That's the photo why. ariane finds is of the same girl how can she exist after ariane's death in the final room of the game we receive what i consider to be an answer had ariane not been accepted for the penrose program she would have been placed in the mines instead the same mines where alina's diary is mm. found but Alina isn't real. She's an extension of Ariane's memories and subconscious. An alternate oh. version of her based on a girl she saw in a photograph. What would have happened had she not been accepted for the Penrose mission? Maybe she would have had her own Elster unit in the mines. Her friends Issa and Erica may have been there, despite them being dead already. No one you run into seems to recognize the picture of Alina, and when Adler recognizes Elster, it's only because he's lived through this cycle of events before. Unfortunately for Ariane, even her alternative memories are being corrupted, turned over and repeated, becoming more unrecognizable each time. Neither Ariane or Alina can escape. As Elster's journey begins mm. to come to an end, she finally confronts Falk, the unit who first discovered the Penrose through the gate in the mine. She speaks of herself as one half of a whole, with Elster being her other half, and tells her that she'll never dance with us again. Seemingly having been corrupted due to contact with Ariane's bioresonance, Falk is eventually killed, and Elster can confront her past. Now on the Penrose once more, we see the end of their mission. After 3,000 cycles, they failed to find any habitable planet. Whether Ariane knew it or not, the mission was a one-way trip and supplies are dwindling. Her final transmission from her superiors is harrowing, full of jingoistic rhetoric and callousness. If you have not found a suitable world for landing by this point, accept that you will not. Find solace in the thought that others might be successful where you failed. We recommend you do not attempt to prolong your suffering by reusing old filters or rationing supplies. They Instead, anyway. make peace with your fate. Remember, you will die having served your nation by partaking in a glorious demonstration of our power. The transmission advises the pilot to ask their Elster unit the to cool save things. them a slow, agonizing death. After at least 2,000 more cycles, with the ship now in ruin and the two falling apart, Ariane is placed in the cryogenic pod, and Elster perishes, unable to fulfill her promise. Now, an unknown amount of time later, flooded with memories of a life she didn't lead, our Elster unit must fulfill the promise that she made. The tragedy of Signalis is that every character, whether they be human or replica, was destined to meet a tragic end. Ariane was an outcast in a world that despised her, and in order to escape, voluntarily placed herself on a doomed mission that she would never return from. The Elster units that would later be based on the Penrose Elster carried her personality and memories, the horrors of watching the one person they love slowly decay, and being yeah. unable to put them out of their misery. Even Falk and Adler were developed for a specific purpose. They're not villains controlling the facility for their own gain. They were made to do it, and when they lost their purpose, they became corrupted. The only human character we meet throughout the game, Issa Ito, shared a similar fate to Ariane. The Ito bookstore sold contraband books, shared a love of art, and were shunned by their peers. While we don't know exactly how they die, we know that by the time we meet Issa in the mines, she's already long dead, her goal to find her sister being an impossible one. The common yeah, villain in all of this is the Yusan regime, the ones who promoted the torture and murder of supposed criminals, the ones who confiscate personal goods, suppress speech, and ban art. The ones who sent Ariane on a doomed mission, knowing she most likely wouldn't return. Because she was different, Ariane was deemed expendable, whether it be floating through space or deep below the rock in Sierpinski. 
this feeling of being abandoned and left for dead ultimately gives power to her bioresonance, which connected her to something even greater. Multiple notes in the game reference something called the Red Eye, but most seem to regard it as a folktale, an illusion that the people of Rotfront revered as a sort of god. While it's hard to tell what parts of Signalis are real and what parts are just taken from memories, the Red Eye does appear in one of the endings. A banned book found in the Ito bookstore explains that some individuals can not only perceive the connection that exists between all people, but actually manipulate and use it to shape the world around them. While not explicitly stated, this is most likely referring to bioresonance, as it also says that this is the power responsible for creating the replicas. We know that Falk coming into contact with the Red Eye is what started the sickness and invaded her memories, but there are two distinct possibilities here. One is that the Red Eye represents a godlike being, a representation of the cosmos that Ariane and other bioresonant people can connect with. The second is that when Ariane's bioresonance became too powerful, it began to corrupt and change the world around her, and due to her memories and time on Rotfront, took on a form that made sense to her, the Red Eye. Regardless, when Falk comes into contact with it through the gate, she assimilates Ariane and Elster. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled, by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore, but I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Mm. We had made a promise. As the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind, I felt the borders of myself blur. Now I can no longer tell where Falk ends and Elster begins. But even when Elster finally sees Ariane again and fulfills her promise, there is no reprieve. As Adler implies at multiple points throughout the game, this has happened before and will continue to happen, each time the world becomes slightly worse, decaying even further. By the time we see through the gate, the world already can't take much more. The multiple Elster corpses littering the Red Desert and inside the Penrose could very well be previous attempts. Even more despair-inducing, the Elster that you scavenge body parts from after the false ending is lying in exactly the same position yeah, as she dies in the promise that. ending, implying that even fulfilling her promise might not be enough. The world is already dying, and nothing can stop the cycle from repeating. Damn. In 1895, okay, I think I want to watch uh, the endings. Hello, everyone. Christopher Beast here, and today I will be attempting to explain the endings to Signal. Attempting to explain. This is a mini indie <laughs> retro horror game on PC, I want to Switch, see the other endings. Xbox, and PlayStation. For those who own Xbox Steam Pass, it does come free with that as well. The game is a Lovecraftian-inspired Resident Evil-esque horror game that was made by a team of only two devs and shows prowess as one Fake of the ending. best horror games okay. I've played. Getting into the first of these three main endings, we have the Weave ending. This ending is arguably the worst, as well as the easiest to get ending, being achieved by playing cowardly and running away from enemies rather than facing them. As punishment for playing the game like a speedrunner, you get the worst ending. In the weave ending, we see Elster ultimately decides to weave the ship and Ariana beyond, directly stating, In the end, I had to leave you behind, but it's too much. Forgive me. She then walks out into the desert before ultimately succumbing to her wounds and collapsing in the sand to die akin to the many other dead Elsters we see Damn. in the ending. This ending can be seen as a complete failure of Elster's ambitions, and the clearly bad ending of the game, punishing the player for their cowardice earlier in the game, and seeing how it's the easiest ending to get, it's really no surprise it isn't a happy one. There is a bit more to add to this. <laughs> First, the Elster in this ending is depicted without the armor she acquired during the fake-out ending, suggesting that this Imagine is not being the a Elster coward, that we follow, me. but I'm rather so more likely one of those dead Elsters I mentioned earlier from that fake-out ending. Also, it should be noted that her statement of, it is too much, forgive me, Suggests that she does remember what the promise is, in fact I'll get back into later, but rather cannot enact what the promise requires her to do. From here we can head to the next main game ending, the memory ending. This ending is of moderate difficulty to get, and as of such some consider it to be a bittersweet good ending. In this ending we see Elster finally reunited with her love Arianne, however Arianne has forgotten who she was. No! Elster is rapidly succumbing to her wounds, and ultimately just requests to be able to lie next to Arion and pass away. 
To some, this is a good ending. Alistair is able to spend her last moments next to Arion and pass away along with her, most likely Arion passing away due to being awoken from cryostasis and the health problems that she sustained prior to going into stasis. However, this there's is some not good. Go <laughs> this is the not notion that this is a good ending. Well, this, First, uh... to acquire this ending, you must have high circle stats. Circle oh. meaning you know circular or ci you know cyclical. An implication that suggests this ending is not an ending, but rather just another step in the process. This can be reinforced by Elster saying, please, just let me stay by your side a little longer. A statement that means she isn't quite ready to end this Touching cycle, which is to stay in the dream with Arion a little bit longer. Next, in this ending, Elster is donning our Elster's gear, suggesting that if the cycle truly isn't over due to the promise not being completed and the implications of the circle, then this could easily be the dead Elster unit that we can steal parts from. Yeah, I was just going to say she like leaned this down exactly like... True, then following this ending, we assume that Ariane as the dreamer is distorted and consumed by the flesh and in the process creates the last realm of the dream. A realm made of memories she has or the final mission of the game. Mm. Until this realm too collapses or is consumed by the flesh due to the decay of her psyche. If we accept all of that, then this ending should be seen as an absolute event that happened as part of the cycle, as part of the circle, but did not bring an end to the cycle or circle, and as of thus, can't be really seen as a true definitive ending. There's another interesting thing to note with this ending. The sprite used when Arion states she doesn't remember Elster is a recolor of the sprite used in the Falke boss fight. It is named End underscore Arion underscore Falke. This is curious because it greatly resembles other sprites we see of Arion, meaning that Falke and Arion by the end look very similar to each other, and combined with the name of the sprite having Falke's name in it, could suggest more is going on here. You're going too Maybe deep, dude. I don't need to know the name of the, the sprites. Or Arion has been <laughs> lost, but I think that is a little bit too file names. Okay, Next, promise we can ending move on is to the last that. of the main endings, and this one is called Promise, where the names such you're as doing, Promise and Arion the most. Promise you're doing being the most. such a major part of the endings. <laughs> It's easy to understand why this is the hardest to acquire ending, and personally to acquire. Ending I view as the canonical final end of the game. In this ending, once again, Elster arrives before an awake Arion. However, this time, Arion <laughs> so actually gave her different hair. We get Elster, it. <laughs> and it's here that Arion is able to remind Elster that she must complete the promise. The promise, this entire time, being to kill Arion. Elster then reluctantly strangles Arion to death before succumbing to her own wounds and passing away by her side. This ending to me represents a final ending, an end to the pain and suffering Thank and you, to the Paul. cycle as a whole. This is supported by the game referring to the stats required to achieve this as death, a symbolism that, in this case, both sides can finally have a final demise, mm. as well as the process to achieving this ending requiring the killing of many enemies and having a high playtime showcasing a general destruction of the cycle as a whole. There's also many quotes mm. from this ending that support this ending representing a final and good ending, one of the largest being the clock finally hitting zero, an act that represents a final end to the cycle of pain that everyone was stuck in. Overall, this ending to me represents freedom through death for everyone involved, for by through this small act of pain, the overall pain of everyone involved will finally end and everyone can rest in peace. So while it certainly doesn't seem happy, ending a nightmare is far better than being stuck True. in it forever. True. On the notion of being stuck in it forever, we arrive at the secret I take and that final both had ending to fully of the game. And is this ending that is yeah, certainly that the most sense. different than the other three. To begin with, this one does not need you to even fight Falk in order to acquire it. Rather, there is a secret puzzle one must do, and upon completing it, they will unlock this ending. Oh, the puzzle fuck. involves using secret keys and codes to unlock the large safe in Arion's room. Upon doing so, we find a lily. Interacting with it, we see Elster placed upon an altar of a ritual. It then pans out to see various dead bodies behind the pillar. Next to the altar, these bodies seemingly being our main cast of characters. For it pans to the top to see an empty coffin of sorts with a strange artifact in its center. Then, we see the Penrose. Before lily it strolls up to reveal an eye in the sky... Then the screen flashes, remember our promise, before fading to reveal Ulster and Erdian dancing on the Penrose. So this one is clearly the most cryptic and raises the most questions as to what is actually going on here. So to start, let's address the steps to getting this ending. First, we have some codes. 
These codes are the same numbers that flash on the screen following the first reading of the king in yellow, and also the same codes that appear all throughout the game. This likely represents that whatever happens in this ending is relating to having a level of control over the power that the book bestows, as by using the wisdom or numbers he grants us, we attempt to control his power. Next, we have the keys. To get this ending, one will need three different keys. These keys are the key of sacrifice, the key of love, and the key of eternity. These keys, to me, each represent one part of the symbolism behind what this ending means. First is love. This symbolizes the manifestation of Elster's love for Ariane. She loves her so much that she is unable to complete the promise and would rather just be able to be with her forever. Next is eternity. This suggests and contextualizes what is exactly being done by this ritual. Elster is creating a new cycle or a new moment of eternity, but one that allows her to be with Ariane forever. Finally, sacrifice. She is sacrificing our main cast, either literally using their souls and existence to fuel her creation, or figuratively by stating that they are doomed to suffer within the cycle forever while she escapes. We also must consider where the safe is. The safe is located within Ariane's room, right behind the desk she used to use, and where the King of Yellow rests. The safe is something dear to Arion, hmm. and by accessing it, it could represent even that this action, Elster moves closer to Arion, in the creation of her own cycle and realm, akin to how Arion created her own cycle and realm, but much more focused and dedicated thought. than the failed realm that Arion created, as Arion created a realm in a decaying, dying state while she was supposed to be in dormancy, while Elster is creating a realm purposefully for a reason. If anything, the usage of the codes reinforces that Elster is better and more experienced user of these abilities than even the strongly bioresonant Ariane. Then we have the lily itself. The lily hmm. as a flower represents purity, but in this case it seems to instead symbolize the symbol for Well, Elster's connected to Falk, I imagine she's pretty powerful, yeah. Yuri, suggesting how this is the result when Elster's love for Ariane is too strong to allow her to fulfill the promise she made to Ariane. But there's more to cover. The ritual which shows pillars that strongly resemble the graves in nowhere, reinforcing that the sacrifice that Elster makes here is at the cost of the souls of the rest of the cast, and an empty grave in the center, perhaps representing where Arion should lie if the proper action was taken, but that she is instead sacrificing them to prevent Arion from lying in rest. It should also be added that this ritual is seen before in the game, though due to it flashing quickly on the screen, it's something a lot of us missed, and this was during the fakeout ending. Its name in the fake out ending is Grabber, which means grave. It implies that this process has either happened before, likely Ariane when she created the original cycle, or maybe even a past Elster already did something. Or we could consider that just something that the fake out ending predicts as part of the future, seeing how time is not really linear in this situation. Then we get to the artifact. This is the artifact that appears in the game's logo and should be seen as a physical item used to create the cycles both for Arion in the main cycle and now Elster in the ending. Or it could be seen as a physical manifestation of someone having the ability to do so. If they have this item, then they can create cycles. Either way, it is something that is integral to having the ability to distort reality at a level that both dreamers do. In the files, this object is called a tesseract, which is a cube in the fourth dimension, reinforcing that this item is what's distorting not just reality, but time itself in this situation. Regardless, following the depiction of this item, we see Herb. the Colonel is landing on a planet, the dream that the two pilots had ever since they took off from their homeworld, and their pointless <laughs> adventure into space seemingly finally having a purpose. However, the pan-up reveals they are still being observed. On one hand, this could be the King of Yellow, looking down at the two of them, granting Elster the power to create this new dream. And on the other hand, this could be Ariane, looking down from her dream at this new pocket dream that Elster has created judging her for her failure to fulfill the promise she made. It is then that the promise is mentioned again, clearly articulating that this ending does not in any way fulfill the promise. Yeah, yeah, Arion will not yeah. die, and the cycle will not end. Rather, she will now never die, and the cycle has been renewed What is that book about? Finally, we can consider what the final waltz between the two main characters. Obviously a big scene, part of this game. It really has a much negative toned recreation of the Penrose simulation dash memory that occurred earlier in the game, following the fake out ending. If you remember from that scene, it wasn't reality, but really kind of a flashback or maybe even a recreation of an event by Ariana's dream. But this scene, this time, is 
much more negative in its toning, much darker, much you know more grim. And we can actually look into the you know discoveries within the code to reinforce this finding. First, the model of the final version we see of Arion is named Body Texture Ghost. It is time to close out the video. But before I do so, I'd like to say if you are a SignalOS fan and would like to participate further in this discussion, I have linked in the description below the unofficial like about a play Discord. called The King in Yellow, so where people who read it spread alike. the cult of it. Sure so I just see a new there. place in another also, reality in called Carcosa, and try to bring really the king back to power. Really possible thanks to the redditors over uh, on the Signalis Reddit. So it is, it is pretty symbolic of what happens in this game. below when it was yeah. referenced. Um, so really without them, it wouldn't have been possible to do any of the stuff I... That's pretty cool. That was a... That was a... That was a... Fucking banger game. That was a great game. Great game. Thank you, Pup, for recommending it to me. Thank you, Sansy, for buying it for me. Oh, it was my pleasure, Pup. Very fun. Very, very fun. <clears throat> my pleasure. I hope you like all the new stuff. We'll be chilling with it for a little bit. And uh, uh, if I'm feeling better, I'll stream tomorrow. I need to take more meds and go back to bed. <sighs> Great new stuff, thank you. I think I was just. <clears throat> Hope you feel better, thank you. We are gonna raid. Oh, Julia's still streaming? Um, Egg is also... Um... Apaka's playing Elden Ring! So many choices. You have your cloud makeup for the rest of the month? Why? What's happening? <laughs> What's happening this month? <laughs> What's happening? The team might be finishing Red Dead. People, they're gonna. I feel like they're gonna at least drop a trailer or a date. That would be awesome. The trailer would be pog. The trailer and a date. I love you. How about how about both? How about both? Fuck off. How about both? <laughs> Why am I lagging so much? I'm doing my best. I pray for both. Me too. Oh god, I had to close mix it up because everything's fucking being crazy. Okay, no raid, I guess, because my computer's so mad at me right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I think because I haven't turned it off in a while. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the meds. I'm gonna maybe get some food and then I'm gonna go back to bed. I love you all. I know, I know, it's being so freaking rotten. So rotten, dude. But I love you all so much. Um, thank you for being here. Um, this game is very fun. Next Friday, we'll be starting um, Paranorma Site. Um, so get hyped for that. And um, that's, about it. that's about it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here, Pop. <gasps> And uh, maybe see you tomorrow if I'm feeling if I'm feeling okay. I love you all. Have a good EP time. I see you soon. Bye.